What's going on guys, it's Tyler from Service and today I'm showing you guys how to restore iPads. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's get into the basics. The first thing you're going to need is obviously the iPad. Um, we have two different type of iPads, guys. You have one that has the lightning connector, and then you have one that has USB-C. So that's going to require you to have the right cable. So as you can see, this is a normal um, iPhone charging cable. You're going to need this with the USB in to the lightning part. And then if you have the iPad that has a USB-C connector, you're going to need the one that has a USB to a USB-C connector. Um, once you guys have the cords and the iPad, you're just going to make sure you need to be at a computer that has iTunes. So I'll show you guys what to do from here. All right, guys. So once you have iTunes opened up on the computer, um, you want to unplug the iPad and make sure that your charging cord is plugged into the front of the computer. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, power off the iPad. Um, the easiest way to do that is holding the sleep button on the top of the iPad. So I'm gonna grab it real quick. And if you actually hold this down for about four seconds, um, you should get an icon that says slide to power off. So we're gonna slide to power that off right now. Okay, so this part's really important, guys. So restoring iPads that have a home button, um, what you wanna do is you're going to hold down the home button and while holding the home button down, you're gonna plug the charger into it. And then once you do that, you will see that it's recognized here inside of iTunes. So I'm gonna do that and show you guys what type of screen you should get. So as you can see, I held down the home button and plugged in the cord and kept holding down the home button and we get the screen here. And then as you can see, it's being detected inside of iTunes and we're ready for the next part. Okay, so we're gonna put this type of iPad in recovery mode. So you're gonna hit the volume up, volume down, and the sleep button up top. So volume up, volume down, sleep button. And as you can see, it says slide to power off. So I'm just gonna keep holding uh, the sleep button here. And we're gonna wait patiently until the screen goes completely black like so, and we're gonna keep holding and keep holding. We should see an Apple logo, and then we're waiting for it to say connect to iTunes, like so. And then we gotta to connect to the computer, so the changes should reflect here in iTunes. Uh, if it doesn't show up immediately, just give it a few minutes and it should pop up. Okay guys, so once we're inside of iTunes, as you can see, a message is gonna pop up where it says there's a problem with the iPad, the iPad requires it to be updated or restored. So we wanna restore this iPad back to factory settings. So we're gonna click the restore option. And then once you click the restore option, it's gonna to connect to the iPad software server, which shouldn't take too long. And then it's gonna ask us what we wanna do and we wanna restore and update. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and follow the prompts here and agree. And then in the very top right hand corner, as you can see up here, um, we have a little downloading symbol, okay? It's gonna download the iPad update software. Um, your time might vary depending on where your location is. Um, as you can see, it's gonna take two minutes for ours. Um, some stores, it might take 20, 30 minutes, or even longer. Um, something to note, the iPad might go out of uh, recovery mode during this time. So if all of a sudden the iPad turns back on to um, you know, the normal booted up screen, that is normal. Um, all you have to do is, is once this update is finished, you will have to put the iPad back into recovery mode as shown early in the video. Okay guys, so as you can see, the iPad software has been downloaded and at the top it says extracting software. So um, here shortly the iPad will go to an Apple logo and it'll start the restore process. Um, so basically you're gonna leave it at the screen on the computer and leave the iPad plugged in until it fully restores. And then once it's done uh, fully restoring, it should be at the setup screen just like normal. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder on how to put these into recovery mode. So iPads with a home button, the way to get them into recovery mode um, is shutting them all the way off. Hold down the home button and plug in the charging cable and keep holding the home button until you get the iTunes restore message on the screen. For iPads that don't have a home button, you guys will do the volume up, volume down, and the sleep button and continue to hold the sleep button until you see the iTunes restore um, on the screen. And just make sure that you plug in the cable so it's recognized inside of iTunes. Um, the last thing I wanna notify you about and remind you is that sometimes the iPads might go out of recovery mode as you wait for your update files to download. Just remember to put the iPad back into recovery mode and then you should be all set from there. I hope this video helps you guys and I hope you guys have a great day.